welcome to another shave of the day with me, the Suffolk Shaver. How are you? It's the weekend again. Um, what we're going to be using today, as you can see, I've already got a pre shave soap on, which is the um, PAA ATG or Against the Grain pre shave soap. We use quite a bit of that, it's not much left, sort of over half left, or under half left, sorry. So I thought I'd put that on whilst I'm lathering up the soap. And the soap today is PMB or Phoenix and Bow Denali, which is menthol, peppermint, and sorry, camphor. So uh, to get a good lather today, I am using my uh, satin tip, um, as it's only a sample. It's, uh, the satin tip is really good for uh, whipping up a good lather, just from a little sample. So that's ready to go. Um, and the razor today, sorry, razor today is the uh, Progress again, Mocha Progress. But today I'm going to knock it up just another half to three and a half. I've actually put it up to four, but um, with this dial, it, when it dials right down, it goes beyond one, so if I turn it up an extra half, that should compensate for that. So leave that in the warm water to keep the blade warm. The uh, fourth shave, I believe, on the Tiger Superior pla uh, Stainless. Uh, post shave is going to be Thayer's Cucumber. And a good match, I think, for this soap is uh, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. And today I'm going to have uh, a shaverage or beverage of the shave. It's quite a big bottle, so I've got to stand back. It's um, Aspel. It's made in Suffolk, as you can see, and it's an organic cider. And it's established back in 1728. I believe it was originally produced by monks. So I've got my half pint here. Cheers. Hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. I've got a few uh, domestic chores to do around the house as the wife's at work. And the children's got their uh, homework to do. So um, before I do all that, I'm just going to have a relax and shave. Um, it's not particularly hot, hot today, it is sort of the uh, battery cut out again. As I, as I was saying, until I was really interrupted. It's um, quite humid, overcast. But still about sort of 23 degrees here today. The uh, menthol in this one is a lot stronger than the um, Perezzo which I used in my last shave. That lovely peppermint scent. As you can see, the uh, satin tip has whipped up a nice lather this time. For those that might remember, um, last time I used this sample was with my uh, Smoke Owners Club, which I had um, lathering issues with, but uh, obviously that was the because um, it was a new brush, still it was still breaking it in. And the, the oils and the hair was sort of um, breaking the soap down. This uh, soap is super slick. Again, just letting the razor do the work.
Uh, come the end of this month, that'll be uh, my two-year anniversary in uh, Wet Shaven. Time flies when you're having fun, as they say. Great feedback from this uh, razor and blade. I was uh, at work last night and uh, just things going around in your mind. I was thinking about the um, thinking about blades and the cost of blades. No, when you're looking for blades, you try and look around for the best prices and best deals. You know, like the, the more expensive uh, feathers and uh, pole silvers, um, the Kai blades. And I asked the question to myself. Why are you worrying about prices of blades now? You know, if you, you go back to pre, you know, when, before you were wet shaven, the cost of um, replacing cartridge, uh, uh, cartridge razor heads. Um, even if you're buying the feathers and the pole silvers and that, Okay, they're a little bit more than the Gillettes and other uh, type of uh, make of blades, but it's still going to be a lot cheaper than um, buying the cartridge ones. I don't know if you um, sort of question yourself like that, but... If you're wet shaven, you shouldn't really be worrying about the um, price of blades. It's one of the least expensive uh, items we need to um, shave with. Per razor, what you're talking about cartridge wise, you're talking about so a pound a shave. No, so I know, about four pounds on average for a blade or a replacement head. I've never shaved with the uh, 
of the second sort of three and a half four before, but it's, obviously you can feel the blade a little more, but um, as long as you just let the weight of the razor do the job, there's not a problem. Obviously if you're um, just starting in wet shaving I wouldn't advise to uh, go that high in a uh, adjustable. You know, start low and then um, as you get used to that setting just take it up half a notch or a notch and go go how you, you know, the way it feels on your face. If it feels too much for you to start with obviously because you're going to have sensitive skin if you're coming over from cartridge razors. First pass, cheers. Go to the look. I had a, uh, in my last shave, I had a double splash of um, the Perezzo Green. Um, I splashed it on obviously straight after my shave and then just before I went to work, um, I sp splashed a bit more on and it did last about five or six hours actually, maybe a little more. So um, if you've got a uh, splash that doesn't last very long, Put it on the once, leave it for an hour or so, and then splash it on again. That uh, it might last a bit longer. You know how long it lasts. Um, your miles may vary, but um, that's uh, that's what the Prezzo done for me anyway. Even cold up. This sample was given to me by um, Sorrel Shaves. Thank you, Nick. I thought I'd give it another shot with a uh, different brush this time. I'm going to across the grey now. I'm still on the uh, three and a half, four, four setting. Quite slick. Not quite slick, really slick.
Uh, thanks for all your comments and questions this week. Um, much appreciated. And to uh, any new subscribers that have just joined us, welcome. Really enjoying this setting for. This is good raise for all. Um, you know, all abilities, new uh, newcomers to wet shave, and then to uh, the more experienced. That's my trouble spot there for those that don't know. And what I do, I don't stretch so much there. And then run the razor over and it does catch it all. And you, as you go along, you pick up different techniques. Try them out if they work. Obviously use them, if not, try something else. Right, let's pass two, gurgle it up. I'm gonna wait for the water, I'll have another little sip. Really cold now. Not enough to make my eyes water, but um, and when you add a little bit of extra water to it. I'll try to add a little bit more water on the third one to uh, give the soap a little bit more slickness. It's really cold.
Right, third pass against the grain. Oh, I better turn it down a bit, I think, don't I? Um, turn it down to two and a half or three on here, but. Really got to get this um, dial sorted out. It, it keeps moving. I have to keep checking it. A bit of blood there, but it's not um, a cut. So I think I had a spot or something there. Read out of the top lip. Oh. <laughs> Nearly at it there.
and again there, look spot there. So one wet shaver I you uh, watch on YouTube, um, Eric Burgos, may not pronounce the surname right. He does. He's recently started to do a forward pass on his top lip to get a really close shave. Oh, my nose. Yeah, super slick. Check on for touch ups. A little bit here and here. Let's do that first. I'll just show my t-shirt, it's a um, tie-dye, my uh, daughter last weekend uh, got herself a tie-dye kit and uh, she made about three t-shirts for herself and uh, I was impressed so I uh, bought myself a white t-shirt and uh, she done one for me. Bit of a bloodbath, 
bit of a bloodbath today in comparison to uh, previous shaves. Can't expect a perfect shave every time, can you? Yeah, nice and smooth. Just rinse it off with that warm water. Sorry about the noise. I don't know when you're watching this video, but um, I'm shaving on Saturday the 10th, September. Um, if you're watching any time around um, September the 11th, um, just take a minute to remember those that uh, lost their lives 15 years ago in the um, World Trade Centre. When it happened, I was at uh, work and uh, heard people talking about it, um, but uh, it didn't really hit me until I actually saw it on TV. Um, it's crazy. So. So there's lavender, oh, not so there's lavender. Rewind, so there's cucumber. Fluff on my face. Another little sip on the cider. Plenty of lather left in the brush. Nice and peaky, cushiony, protective. Excellent. I think it's. Um, I think it is available in this, in America. I think it's. Um, Megan Fraser's is it? In the UK, it's through their own website or through um, shavingstation.co.uk. <clears throat> I think it's about twelve ninety nine a tub. And again, this one's with the uh, big hole on the top. So I just put my index finger over the top to restrict it a bit more. Little burn. And then when it dries off or dried down, so you get the um, menthol kick in. So that's that. Let's go uh, back through the stars of the shave. Denali from uh, Phoenix and Bow. Get yourself some if you're a fan of um, peppermint or um, uh, menthol. Razor was the Merc Progress. Uh, setting four and setting two and a half. And the blade was fourth shave on the Tiger Superior Stainless brush. 
always a great performer. Satin tip, the purist with the white knot. Um, if you're thinking of getting this brush, I'd get the white knot because the uh, they do a black knot, but um, the dye comes out after a fa after a while, so uh, you may go from black to grey. Um, and the thigh, as you've just seen, cucumber, which goes on, and finished off with the uh, aqua velva ice blue. Fantastic shave, really close. Enjoyed the uh, the fourth setting on the pro um, progress. Just have a nice little sip. Cheers. Have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for your likes. Thanks for your comments. Um, any questions? Leave them in the comments below. Um, I do reply as soon as I can. Have some great shaves. I'm ready for my day and uh, see you next week for another shave. Cheers, bye.